Just a brief introduction, inshallah. <laughs> if you are tired, we can start. That's the patience we are talking about. The dedication. The book of the hadith that we've been studying, inshallah, is the book Nukhbat al Fikr. In the book and the Sharh of Nuzat al Nadar, Sharh Nukhbat al Fikr, is the book in the terminology of hadith. It translated to the finest opinions in the concepts of the scholars of hadith. It's a very simple and nice book to understand the terminology of the hadith. Just, inshallah, to, to, to complete the barakah of the day, inshallah. When we talk about the hadith, one question comes to ask, what is the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu What the meaning of sunnah? We'll do this inshallah, I promise you understand. First, the hadith is the second source of the sharia. We have Quran and sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Quran and sunnah. There's people now in the Muslim world and around us, they deny the hadith. They don't accept the hadith as the source of Sharia. Why? Because they're saying, who collected the hadith? Like Bukhari and Muslim, this is people like us. So we only take the words of God. Tell them how then you find the door for Raqqa. They get you in a very complicated equation of math. <laughs> tell you Bismillah rahman rahim it has 19 words and go up and down and how many times the morning is mentioned and they get into very complex equation and get it equal for. Taylor say one second, because you knew it for, so you make the equation to have the result to be for. So you follow the hadith. And the hadith, it is the second source of the Sharia. It is the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The hadith of the Prophet, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he didn't speak anything except the truth. One of the companion, came to the Prophet and said, said, Ya Rasulullah, sometimes you are in different state. You are joyful, sometimes you are mad, sometimes you're, you, you, you know, joking with us. Which words should we say, t take from you? Only when you are serious or only when you are in this state? No. Look what the Prophet said. He said, only comes out from this mouth the truth. Only comes out from this mouth the truth. مَا يَخْرُجُ مِنْ فِيهِ إِلَّا الْحَقَّ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Najm وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْحَوَىٰ He doesn't speak out of his wings. إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيُ يُوحَىٰ It's only revelation revealed to him صلى الله عليه وسلم. And everything that been later corrected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in everything the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم did or everything the Prophet ﷺ said, all of it is Allah's wahi to teach the Ummah. And as the ayat, Allah revealed ayat, and He abrogated them, ayat that He took them away, that's also the way of the Prophet ﷺ. But the Prophet ﷺ, He lived among the companions of the one Allah Ta'ala in his prophethood 23 years. So what is the sunnah that we're going to rely on? What is the sunnah? 
the Sunnah we have three definitions from every group of scholar they give us a definition according to their field of study the first one we have the category of scholar that we call al-usuliyun the scholars who study the field of usul al-fiqh the fundamental, the principle of jurisprudence for them the sunnah are the saying and the action and whatever the prophet agreed upon when he saw something he agreed on it he didn't change it he saw a companion doing something the prophet sallallahu confirmed it by not saying anything or by saying something to confirm it these are the sunnah according to usulim Al-Qawlu wal-fi'lu wal-iqraru Al-Qawlu, the saying Al-fi'lu, the action Al-iqraru is the confirmation Whatever the Prophet agreed and confirmed On the action of his companion The scholar of fiqh, jurisprudence It is a sunnah if you do it, you are rewarded, and if you don't do it, you're not blamed. That's the ahkam al sharia that we mentioned, which is the sunnah for them, what is recommended, mustahab. That's according to the fuqaha. The scholar of hadith, that's the description of the sunnah, for them, it is everything that the Prophet ﷺ did or related to the Prophet ﷺ. As he is the example for the humankind, the people of Hadith, they reported everything. The conduct, the moral, the, the ways of the Prophet ﷺ in wearing clothes, in combing his hair, combing his hair, in the way that he wear his shoes, everything. And everything that related to the Prophet ﷺ from Akbar, how he said, all the stories that happened to the Prophet ﷺ, all the saying that he did, all the action and all the agreed upon ﷺ. So it's either is a law of Sharia or it's no law of the Sharia, everything they mention it. Rahimahullah. That the Sunnah according to the Hadith, to the Ahl al-Hadith. مَا أُضِيفَ إِلَى النَّبِيِّ مِنْ قَوْلٍ أَوْ فِعْلٍ أَوْ تَقْرِيرٍ أَوْ صِفَةٍ خُلُقِيَّةٍ أَوْ خَلْقِيَّةٍ أَوْ أُضِيفَ إِلَى الصَّحَابِ وَالتَّابِعِ So the Sunnah according to them. Everything attributed to the Prophet ﷺ from saying or action or anything that he agreed upon or any attribute, the way he of conduct, khuluq, or khalqiyya, the way he looks, ﷺ. they describe his hair, they describe how tall he is, they describe the way he smiles, وسلم, everything. Or anything that the companion talk about the Prophet Sallallahu or the Tabi, everything is narrated. And we go, inshallah, next time. Before we start, the book introduction to see the role of the sunnah in the tashriya and to give you insha'Allah the evidence of the necessity of the sunnah of being source of tashriya how jiyat is sunnah what is the evidence from the Quran and from the sunnah and then to see the evidence how Allah protected the sunnah then to enter into the terminology of hadith, which is how to know that this saying is from the Prophet 
and you see this science of hadith and how great our scholars to go in details to give you the grading of the hadith then when you implement the law you know it is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is the Prophet who did it sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Jazakumullah khair wa barakallahu fikum if you have any question we have still Yes. Those are the conditions. These elements are the conditions. So someone needs to say with his tongue, with his heart, and act upon it with his heart and his, his body. Jazakumullah khayyan wa barakallahu fikum. May Allah. Bless you all and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in knowledge. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.